let's do an example using the linear correlation coefficient. So Matt measures both the shoe size and the weight of 18 football players, performs a linear regression analysis, and he finds where these two, with these two variables, he calculates the correlation coefficient is 0.582. So the question is, to what confidence level can Matt state that a football player's shoe size is correlated with his weight? Well, we know that there's 18 data points, and so from the, we look up the critical value of the linear correlation coefficient, which is RT, and I'll show you that on the table. If we go to the table of linear critical values of linear correlation coefficient at n equal 18, we will go down to 18, and we see that at 95% we have 0.468, etc. So for our value of 0.582, it lies somewhere in between these two values, these two columns, which is 98 and 99% confidence level. So we can linearly interpolate, and we'll go back and make ourselves a little table so that C, the confidence level from the table, at 98%, the critical value of RT is 0 0.54255, and at 99%, the critical value is 0 0.58971. Our measured value is 0 0.582, so we want to linearly interpolate to get the value of confidence level and when we interpolate, we get that C equal 98.8%. So we can be very confident, in other words, we can be confident to about 98.8% that there is a correlation. So this is much bigger than the standard 95% uh, confidence level for engineering analysis. Here's an example using the linear correlation coefficient. Several measurements are taken in a wind tunnel of the pressure difference as a function of x, and we have the data here. Let's first calculate the linear correlation coefficient. To do this, we'll have to use Excel, and I'll open up an Excel spreadsheet where we do this. Here are those same data points in Excel. To calculate, and I also plotted them just so you can see what they look like. There's a lot of scatter. Now, in order to calculate the linear correlation coefficient, which I did here, we can use uh, data and then data analysis. Let's pick correlation as our package, and I'm going to select these data points, both x and delta p, both the x and y values. Let's put these, the answer in some cell, and then hit OK, and you see that we get 0.658932 as our linear correlation coefficient for these uh, data points. So from Excel, we have the linear correlation coefficient RxY equals 0 0.6589. I give it to four significant digits. Um, we know that n equal 8. There's 8 data points. So again, we'll interpolate at n equal 8. Let's make a table of confidence level and the critical correlation coefficient. We get this from uh, the table, which we have up here. So at n equal 8, we go across and find that at 90%, we get this value, 0 0.62. And at 92.5, we get this value, 0 0.65985. So our, our, our T is somewhere in between these two. So let's uh, complete the linear interpolation. So at 90%, RT is 0 0.62149. At 92.5%, RT is 0 0.65985. Our value is 0 0.6589. So we need to interpolate to get this value. And when you linearly interpolate, you get C equal 92.44%.
So we're 92.44% confident that there is a trend. And one other comment, this is less than 95%. So to standard engineering analysis, we would say that there is not a trend in, this, in these data uh, to standard engineering confidence level. We can actually see that in the plot of these data. Uh, it looks like there might be an upward trend, but we can't be 95% confident of that. Now for the same uh, problem, same set of data, let's do a linear regression analysis and plot the best fit straight line. Uh, for this, I'll use Excel. Here are these data in Excel. I've plotted them, and this best fit straight line is produced by using one of the built-in macros in uh, Excel. If we click on Data, Data Analysis, and let's uh, look for regression. OK. And the input Y range is first. The Y range here is the delta P. That's our Y axis. So we pick that. The X range is here. So pick all those data points. And then we have a 95% confidence level as a default. The output range, uh, I have already did this beforehand, but let's put these values in the same place. And uh, that's all we need to do. Hit OK. It'll ask me if it's OK to overwrite, which it is. So it just overwrote what I had previously. And the two coefficients we get are the intercept and the slope. So this, what Excel calls x variable 1, is actually the slope of y versus x. And intercept is the y, uh, y intercept. So in the normal y equal mx plus b, this would be m. This would be b for a linear line. So all I did was construct these. You can see what I did here. Uh, for x equals 0, delta p is b41, the intercept, plus the slope times x. Did that for two data points. And that's what I plot here as the linear fit, best fit straight line.